Gross motor skills help infants get around in their environment. Here, two-week-old Anna Marie displays a crawling motion and tries to pick up her head. Mac, who is three months old, can hold his head up and push with his arms quite well. Alex, who's five months old, demonstrates his preference for being upright by jumping with support from his father. He also provides a striking example of infant motivation as he tries to crawl toward the rattle. Here's Hannah at seven months. She crawls, rolls, starts to balance in a sitting position, which permits her to transfer objects from hand to hand and hold two objects at once. Here she pulls to a stand. Eight-month-old Randy sits with good balance and crawls with a toy in his hand. Randy can also stand up with a little help from his mother. New motor accomplishments change the way parents interact with their child. For example, parents' expressions of affection and game-playing increase as their independently moving baby seeks them out for greetings, hugs, and entertainment. And babies' expressions of delight as they work on new motor competencies trigger pleasure in others. This encourages the child's efforts further. Fine motor development has to do with smaller movements, such as reaching and grasping. Here, two-week-old Anna Marie directs her arms toward a rattle. These movements are called pre-reaching because they resemble poorly coordinated swipes or swings. Six-week-old Kara swipes at an object in front of her. Around three months, voluntary reaching begins and gradually improves. Here, five-month-old Alex demonstrates reaching with the ulnar grasp, a clumsy motion in which the fingers close against the palm. Then, Alex explores the object with his mouth. Randy's hands have become coordinated enough at age eight months, to hold and explore objects smoothly and effortlessly. Eleven-month-old Nicole uses the pincer grasp, thumb against the forefinger, to pick a raisin out of her father's hand. Of all motor skills, voluntary reaching is believed to play the greatest role in infant cognitive development, since it opens up a whole new way of exploring the environment. Once reaching and grasping are mastered, they combine with the child's developing cognition and desire to solve new problems, leading to even more advanced manipulation of objects. 23-month-old Zachary is intent on figuring out how to put shapes into the box. 15-month-old Braxton shows off his carpenter skills. And finally, Zach stuffs a Nerf ball into a cup and then intently tries to dig it out with a spoon. Kristen's genetic makeup, due to Down syndrome, has limited her rate of motor development. She developed more slowly than is typical, but her early experiences also had a profound effect. Because she had repeated surgeries to correct a heart defect, she lay on her back throughout her first two years. When finally she did move about, she did so by scooting instead of crawling. Today, Kristen's parents are teaching her to crawl and walk with the help of a walker. Parental love, involvement, attention, and rich stimulation are helping Kristen develop not just motorically, but in all respects. The union of perceptual and motor information is dramatically evident in babies' developing sensitivity to depth. 
Here we see five-month-old Alex, not yet able to crawl, showing no fear of careening over the drop-off. Seven-month-old Hannah, an experienced crawler, perceives the visual edge and stops. She has begun to understand depth at an edge and its consequences for falling. Twelve-month-old Bailey backs away from the edge immediately. He knows what lies ahead if he continues. And 15-month-old Braxton, who's been walking for a while, has figured out how to get over the edge by turning around and sliding down, with a little help from Professor Burke.